We live in a world where there are lots of germs. The germs of greed, aversion, and delusion. They're outside us. They're inside us as well. You'd be amazed at how many germs we carry around inside us. I knew a dentist one time who told me that he'd remove teeth from people, wrap them up nicely, so that nothing would catch them. Come back a few days later, and there'd be these little worms that had come out of the teeth, showing that once there was no way to resist them, these things could grow, but their potential was already there. In the same way, we have the potential for greed, aversion, and delusion inside our own minds. And we meditate so that we can have some good resistance. As long as your resistance is up, these things don't have much of an effect. When your resistance is down, then the germs inside begin to mix with the germs outside. And the mind can get really sick. The problem is sometimes when it's sick in this way, it doesn't recognize the fact that it's ill. That's just its normal state. But when we can pull out of that and we can begin to realize, okay, under the power of greed, aversion, and illusion, we do some really stupid things. Things we're going to regret sometimes, sometimes for a long time. So we need to build up our resistance. This is why we work on mindfulness, why we work on alertness, why we work on ardency. To remember what a disease is in the mind and learn how to recognize it when it comes. And then to give yourself a better place to stay. And then the ardency is what helps get rid of these things. As you realize okay, that you don't have to identify with everything that comes up in the mind. Things that arise that come from the past karma you've done. But your present karma is what you do with them. If you continue them, okay, that becomes your new karma. You're actually contributing to the illness. If you learn how to resist them, you see where the allure is of these things, but you also see what their drawbacks are. And you see that the drawbacks way outweigh the, the allure. Okay, then you've got your resistance. That way when people come at you with their diseases, you don't pick them up. And the diseases inside you don't have a chance to take hold. So work on your resistance. Because there's nothing else that can protect you. The Buddha says that his dharma is like a medicine. But it's like those old-fashioned medicines where you'd go to see the doctor and he would give you a list of the ingredients for you to go out and find the ingredients yourself and mix them yourself, take the medicine yourself. The Buddha wasn't the sort of doctor who would give you a shot. In other words, you have to do the work. He gives you the instructions. But the resistance is something you build inside. And it starts by recognizing the fact, yes, there are these diseases in the mind, and they are, they are harmful. The potential is always there. But the potential to build up resistance so that you don't have to be overcome by these things, that's there as well. Learn how to develop that. That's what we're doing as we're sitting here with our eyes closed. Finding the potential for a good, strong resistance inside and making sure that it stays strong, not only while we're here with our eyes closed, but as we go through the day. Do I do luck?